Yo, 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 this is King Runner coming to y'all live and direct. This message is a message that's out to the youth. Every video that I give, every video that I speak on, any topic that I speak on is a prime example for the youth to either follow the positivity or not follow it. It's up to you to listen from the beginning to the end to get an understanding. Parents, pay close attention because what I'm doing is giving you a vision of your child's everyday life, and you may not even know that your child even have this type of life. Now, moving forward, this guy, AZ, who's a part of Paid in Full, you know, we all know the story, AZ, Rich Porter, Alpo, Alpo wound up killing his best friend, an example for the youngins to understand that the streets have no honor, you better off grouping up and getting a business with you guys together in something positive because negative seems like always something about being a snake or harming one another. And it seems like you can't keep the outposts away, the ones that rat on their own friends, and they be the ones that go the hardest more than anybody. Then you got your AZs who thinks he's a businessman. He thinks he's an individual that's smarter than everybody else. When in all actuality in the story, if you look at it, Rich Porter was the businessman. Rich Porter was the one that was having a ball, enjoying his earn, his hustle, while everybody else was bringing drama and things around him. Like even his little brother being kidnapped, another tragic in his life. But we all got to say that he handled everything like a man. These two, AZ, Alpo, two weaklings. Now, AZ gets shot in a house, in a house that he brought drugs to. And yeah, in a house that he brought drugs to, he gets shot. And everybody in the house gets shot or and some individuals get killed. Younger people, um, women, it didn't matter. These dudes didn't have a pick. And these dudes was the boss uh, that was going around just basically doing what they wanted to do to others based off of how they carried it. And they was takers, man. You know. So at the end of the day, the story goes a little deeper because Alpo winds up killing Rich Porter. While Alpo winds up telling his his closest hitman, uh, Wayne Perry, he gets some time in jail. He's home now. Everybody likes this guy. Everybody speaks real good of him, whatever the case may be. And he also shot Rich Porter in the back of his head. Now, when AZ House got ran in and they robbed it, AZ is saying that he didn't tell because he got to the stand on the stand against them because they shot innocent people. But he involved them people in the situation, you see. It's causes and effects in life. Had he not put drugs in their home, maybe they wouldn't have been murdered in the same direction of them being murdered unless somebody else put drugs in their home. And we never know what may have happened. But under what happened, the thing is, it's close and understand it's clean cut. This guy's a rat, man. He told on individuals because the pressure came to him. They killed, they tried to kill him. And they killed a few people in the house and they shot a few people. And some people lived. But at the end of the day, why is he making an excuse when I'm pretty sure in the streets that he dealt in, he sanctioned something here or there. Whereas though, you know, it was a call. It was a call. Bottom line. And it became something that's understanding. It spoils of the war. You know, it, it, it's things that happen. But you can't say this because kids got shot and because women got shot or because of the innocent men or whoever that might have been in there got shot, that it's cool for you to get on the stand because at the end of the day, you bought them drugs. So if anything, your behind should have been the one going to jail for having the drugs in there. The detectives never mentioned that. Only reason why they never mentioned that is because now we see AZ. He's all over on the um, social media. Last April, I see it was posted, I think it was Funk Flex, where he's trying to make an excuse and saying, Let's nix the paperwork. Now, when they bought it and said he was a rat, he said, we, you know, go off of paperwork. Somebody got to speak off of paperwork. They got the paperwork. Once they got the paperwork, now AZ is running around saying, get the actual D, the DA. Get the actual agent in there. Man, that sounds stupid, man. The paperwork is good enough. You're actually asking the community of street guys, even dudes that it's not in the streets, that was in the streets, to actually excuse the paperwork and sit back and wait for a district attorney to come up and say, we know we had him in here. That sounds so stupid. That sounds dumb. Listen, your story is brilliant. Everyone loved the AZ Rich Porter outpost story, man. It, it, it sold millions and it even helped 
people on the platforms, man, you know, in reference to we speak on you guys and the, and, and the views go crazy and the people want to know they interested in knowing more. And I'm one of the individuals that give them a clear understanding of this could have happened or that could have happened, but we're going to go with this because at the end of the day, there is no future in us letting these young brothers think that it's okay to try to beat the system. They think that because Alpo got away with 19 homicides, uh, probably a lot more than that. They didn't, they didn't mention that he probably was telling from what I'm understanding. He just was telling so much that they forgot and stopped at 19. Now, this individual is the picture of kids thinking that they could kill somebody, sell all these drugs, do everything that Alpo done, and just because they tell, they can come home because that's what the government is honoring. Now, my thing is this, government. What is you going to do when you have the whole world doing this? Because you got majority of it, if not most of it, doing it now. It's going to become an epidemic, and you guys are not going to stop crying by recycling it. You can't have an individual do the outpo. You know, not everybody, man, listen to me, man. If you if y'all do that, man, it's going to be bigger than anything. Because at the end of the day, basically, y'all going to have to become a part of crime also. If y'all let it, it has to be some type of crime within the government. You guys got to be pulled up on something if you letting guys go home that get away with 19 murders. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm honored by it. I, I respect it if the guy went to trial and beat all 19. Or if he came out with a deal or something for a few years and he came home and, you know, the district attorney just wanted to can him somehow. But for you guys to actually sit somebody out there, it's entrapment. Sit the person out there Tell us the drugs. Give him all the drugs in the world. When he builds his organization and people get into him, when stuff start happening from other rivals or other people getting in trouble, the ops, you know, shooting at them and they shooting at them and people start dying and stuff like that, y'all going to start giving out more passes. Y'all going to start giving out more immunity to individuals just because they tell. And then somehow... Or another, there has to be a crime. It has to be almost big or bigger than what Hitler done, you know? And even what Hitler done was was, was dramatic. But I'm saying, you guys been is, is doing this. It's been going on probably since the beginning of crime. But now that it's become a hype where you got guys like Alpo, you got guys like Sammy the Bull that are actually telling and people getting a heart, the ones that had a muscle, it becomes a thing where it's though the government is the drug dealers. And I need for all the youngers to understand that's why I say what I say about the drugs because you're only getting it from the government, and the government is your boss. The more they allow to come in, the more you're allowed to sell. So we need to get it together in reference to our own mindsets, but guys like AZ, man, he's painting the wrong picture for the youngest. AZ, if you're going to talk about black people and try to help us get to another level, you can't sit up there and lie to the children. You still you sit up here lying every day saying that you didn't tell when you did, man. You don't get them a vision of understanding. You're not giving them an opportunity to understand what telling mean. Do you know what telling mean? I mean, it's no it's not no secret to they came into the house, made you go to the safe, open it up, pistol whipped you to death, shot everybody in the crib, right? Some lived, some didn't. And you told on it. It's clear and cut. You're a rat. Only thing I can say that's good about you, you're a very conservative rat. You really like fall back and try to listen like you're the smartest individual in the world when you're not smart at all. I don't understand how you was even getting to a coin because you seem like if a person came to you with enough pressure at that time and put it on you, you would give it away. So was you really getting pressured to give it away or was you giving it away out of love? I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe you needed to give it away so nobody won't hurt you or harm you. But homie, let me get your understanding of what's going on. That's the game. The game is you're liable to die. You're liable to get shot. You're liable to go to jail. So you have to accept that game. You can't, oh, because I go to because they've done this to this person, I'm allowed to tell them. That sounds very stupid, man. And I don't know why these people keep letting you get on their platform and say it. Somebody needs to check you. I wish you'd call into me, man, and find out. Do something. My email is honoryourlifecampaign720 at gmail.com. Everybody, follow me on Instagram. Go to my website, honorableearners.com. Buy the clothing. You know, kick it around and look it around and 
see where the honor is restored that and you'll see that all over youtube i was i was all all over it before i came here and i'm just trying to get the youth to some understanding of making them know that you can do an alpo and come home man and if you do do an alpo who wants to spend 30 days in the, in, in prison in prisons where you can't really come out or let nobody know where you at you barely probably can get visits because you're in the witness protection program. Nobody wants to live like that. Why not live like this? Get up tomorrow morning and say, listen, I'm dipped with the drug game. I'm, I'm finished with the crime game, period. I understand what King, King Erna is saying. I'm going to try to sell any type of product that's legal, and I'm going to get some money, man. That's more respected. That's more love. That's more honor. I'm King Erna from the Honor Your Life campaign. Don't be an AZ Fazon because he's a piece of trash, man. He don't have no respect for Rich Porter. He don't have no respect for Rich Porter family. If he did, he would have made sure that he came to them with something from that paid in full movie. He kept everything to the face. So that makes him a piece of trash. I want to give a shout out to all the major dudes from Harlem that stood tall. Y'all know who y'all is. I don't have to shout y'all name and anybody else. It's not a New York or Philly thing. To the bloggers, to everybody who keep making all these fake pages asking me, King Garner. King Gurner, can you do us a favor, King Gurner, and talk about the Philly Rats? I don't know a Philly Rat that's worth talking about. I'm just telling the truth. I can speak of some good dudes, but I can't use them as an example of what that's the young boy should go, go in. See, the whole point of me pointing out these rats is giving them an understanding that don't get involved with that because the negativity that come with it. You see what I'm saying? If I point out a guy who stood tall, it's almost like I'm condoning it. So... From time to time, I'll point out a guy that stood tall. I mention him in my comments. I mention him out my mouth just to keep their honor alive in reference to them shooting for the positivity. And that's the ones that's going for it. Because a lot of OGs said, you know what? I'm going to die in jail. I don't care. You got to respect them for how they carried it because they didn't bring nobody else in the situation. But then you got the other OGs that said, man, I changed my life. I don't want to live like that. And they're giving me mentorship. Guys like myself that been through it for real, for real. You know, we need, I need a mentor. And my mentor is Skag Murphy, and he helps me, and he leads me in the right direction. I'm King Runner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Lead your folks in the right direction.